here, Heather. So, if you love pokey, I've got a treat for you. The uh, 11th annual I Love Pokey Festival returns after a two year hiatus, and it's going to be at the Bali High. Who is excited? We excited. Who's excited? We're all excited. <laughs> I know. We've, I've got a party going on in the kitchen here. Um, I want to introduce you real quick, too. We've got the festival founder. We've got Nino here, along with returning pokey champ, Chef Billy in the house. <laughs> and we also have Cervezas Chris, and we're going to talk about what we're going to feature at the festival. So let me let me ask you this before we get started, Nino. Why? You, you created this. You, you founded this. Yeah. Why? Well, two reasons. One. You know, us islanders like to throw parties, right? Yeah, there's so that. <laughs> that's 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 that comes second nature. Uh -huh. um, and then two, during that time in 2010, there was a surge of plate lunch restaurants that we all love to eat at, mm -hmm. Spam Musubi, but there was not that much poke. Oh. So I thought I'm not crazy enough to open a restaurant like <laughs> these guys, but um, I can do an annual event. And, there you go. and it's just all it is. Christina is it's a family gathering for San Diego and the island community. I love this. And yeah. Chef, Chef Billy, you won. The last time this was this was around, you you won. Yep. And can you share with us <clears throat> a secret? How did you win? Well, first of all, we're gonna get fresh locally caught bluefin um, from Chula Seafoods. Ooh. That's where I purchased this. Uh -huh. um, this is not frozen, this is fresh. Yeah. And uh, so what I did here is I took these two apart here. Um, and if you're, uh, if you're gonna do this, you can go ahead and scrape this bottom part. You don't wanna use this, this bottom part because uh -huh. it has sinew and it'll get caught in your teeth. So that's one, one little secret. Okay, so, th so there is a wrong way to cut tuna then. Yeah, uh, just that bottom part, you yeah. wanna scrape, but this, this loin right here, this is what you wanna use. Okay. So really, no, I mean, you know, you're, you're just making poke. You're not building rockets. Okay. So you're just gonna slice it up. Poke okay, means to cube. To cube. Yep. yep. I did not know this. Yeah. So it's a little there cube it is. there. Okay. You know, you make this look so easy. Sharp knife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wanna so, help? You wanna help me make it? <clears throat> uh, sure. <laughs> just don't make me cut anything. But what are you? How? What okay. are you making? Is this a sauce now? The winning yeah. sauce? Yeah. Do you wanna? You wanna help me? Yes, me I'm it? gonna. I'm gonna help you. And okay. by the way, as we're doing this, I just wanna let you know that Chris over here. He's putting something together, and I can't wait to talk about it because it's a Filipino dish. So, Chris, we're gonna get some. Keep going. We're gonna get to you in a second, but I'm gonna help Chef here make his sauce. So, okay. Okay. So, you want you grab the ponzu. ponzu. Go ahead and put like, you know, uh, just keep going. Okay. Just pour. Yeah, pour. All right. Little ponzu. Little okay. Show you. Ponzu and show you. Okay, that's probably good right there. Okay. How about a little sesame oil for Ooh, me? Ooh, I love sesame oil. Okay. How much? Just, just to keep, keep going. going. Yep. Yep. There you okay. go. Okay. Okay, um, we're over here. I got carrots and um, onions. Okay, so just, can go I... ahead, just go ahead and dump. Oh, just dump all, all of it. Yeah, uh, go for it. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ooh, maybe that's a lot. And then I'll use the I have the gloves. Here's a fresh bluefin too. <gasps> oh. Are you? Was this the recipe that you used the last time you won? Yeah, yeah. That seemed a little easy. Okay. Well, there's some there's some other little ingredients okay, we're gonna put. Okay. Okay. But I'm gonna help you. Uh, I'm gonna have you help me uh, plate it up here. Okay. Sounds good. So I'm gonna scoop it in here. Oh. So we can have a nice little presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Smells good. I know. The aroma. Oh, smells fresh. Okay. Yes. Help me with the seasoning. A little togarashi. Okay. Um, can I use my hands? Yes, please. All right, here we go. Don't touch your eyes after that. Oh, don't touch your eyes. Thank and you. my, my inspiration comes from Maui. Um, so I have the freshness of the, the land with the grilled carrots. Ooh. Um, here is my little secret. Okay. This is carrot top pesto. Okay. Oh. So you get it's a little, so pretty, you, you get too. A little earthy. Well, okay. How about a little green onions on top for me? Sure, let's, let's put on top. Yep. There we go. I yep. tried, chef. All right, wait, wait, we're almost oh, there. You're, oh, see? see? See, look at me. I'm trying to be. I didn't want to put too much, and he's salt. like, no, put more, Damn. put more. This is why he's the oh, chef. I'm not. If she's going to grab the chopsticks, okay, as we do that, hold on, I got to check with Chris over here. Okay, Chris, hey, you've got a rest, cerveza. Cerveza, oh, my Filipino restaurant. What does that mean? It means? Cerveza means beer in Tagalog. Beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically, I'm going to guess that the food that you make pairs with beer. It does, and I actually make my own beer. What? Yeah. yeah okay, what is this called then? Pulutan. Right? Isn't that what, like what you eat um, with beer? Pulutan is appetizers. Yeah. So this is actually an entree dish. It's oh, okay. A, so it's the entree. It's a pancit palabok. Mm. And uh, 
normally people know pancit bihon it's the more traditional sure. noodle, but this one's a little bit more high end. Yes. Yeah. And so this is actually this is my favorite growing up. Uh, like he said, it's a Filipino dish here. So this is going to be at the festival. So you're going to bring mm -hmm. some stuff with you, right? Yep. What else are you going to have? I'm going to have uh, the pancit palabok. Okay. And then I'm also going to actually we're actually my brother. Ben, he's actually going to try the poke competition. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. So it is a family affair. So go yeah. ahead and keep plating because I know that you've got the <laughs> toppings here. All right. We've got. I know this is chicharron, which is pork rinds. Pork rinds. Right. Okay. So we have the chicharron. You put it on top. Mmm. And then we have the green onions. Put it on top. Perfect. And then we're going to pair it with some hard boiled, egg. hard boiled egg. Oh my gosh! You just. And actually, we're going to actually pair it also with um, my surf and turf lumpia. Ooh. Wait, Which, surf and turf. So it's chicken and shrimp, and this actually won the the non poke award in 2019 for the poke fest. Friends, I hope you brought your appetite. Uh, where do I even start? Like they said, hey, are you gonna try it? Well, what if I want to try one of everything? <laughs> because it even has dessert here. Okay, so here's the deal. Let me just tell them, you know. So this is happening on Monday. Okay, it's the I love. I love Poke Fest at the Bali High Restaurant. Again, this is on Shelter Island. If you're familiar, tickets are 90 bucks, but you get to try everything inside. And I'm telling you what, I have not been, but I think I need to go. And if you want more information, you want to get a hold of those tickets, the tickets that are still available, go to fox5sandiego.com, click the scene on tab, because I'll tell you what, it's sold out pretty much every year, right? And this is the 11th. I, I have to try it, huh? Oh, well. Okay, so that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And the poke. We gotta do it. Hold on. Well, well, now I just licked my chopsticks. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Stay put because we'll be right back. Mmm.